you know, as I've gotten up in age, I've realized that there are things that you can control and things that you can't control. And one of the things I can control is my addiction to ice cream. I don't know what it is, but just on a nice hot Texas summer day, a good pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream just makes all your problems of the world go away. All of them. What is going on, y'all? It's your man Mike Titan, the gaming savant, bringing y'all another episode of the Broken Controller. Now, normally, I don't really look at information about the next Madden until like maybe a few weeks that it comes out. But this year, seeing as I'm doing more gaming videos, I needed to kind of brush up on the stuff that happened at E3 that I wasn't really able to cover because I was covering the other stuff at E3. So, looked at Madden 16. It looks almost identical to Madden 15, just some slight graphical upgrades. But there was this one mode that I kept hearing about and I just kept like not paying attention to it called Draft Champion Mode. So if you know, I found this, like, you know what, let me sit down, look at this mode, look at some videos and get an idea of what I'm gonna be expecting in August. And boy, what I got brought me so much glee and joy and happiness that I don't know what to do with myself. So essentially, Draft Champions, uh, if you've ever played Hearthstone, and I've briefly played Hearthstone, if you watched uh, the Join of the Master Race video I did when I played Hearthstone, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, it's like arena mode in Hearthstone. So pretty much you get 15 rounds and you get to pick one player out of three cards for every, you know, every round. And you pretty much get a base team. So you pretty much have to kind of decide it's like, all right, do I want to try and go for a more run oriented offense? Do I pick running backs and linemen? Do I want to go for a more aerial offense? Do I pick quarterbacks and wide receivers? Do I want to have like the best defense ever, but have an okay offense? It's very good. And <clears throat> the, we the reason I like it is because it'll give you a sort of alternative to mutt. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Mutt. I feel like Mutt is good, even though it sucks about $100 out of my wallet every year in Madden because I'm buying packs and stuff like that. But the problem I have with Mutt is that Mutt is one of those things you got to commit to, meaning that you have to literally play it every day. If you don't want to spend money, you got to play all the solo challenges, which get very, very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... It gets very repetitive after a while. Um, also, you know, you gotta keep up with the latest cards because they drop cards like every week, every other week. And then, you know, inflation of the market. So if you want the best cards, you gotta pay like real money to buy packs or find some way to get coins and to get those. It's, I don't know, you gotta play the auction market. It's like, it's a, it's a dedication if you wanna have like the top cards in mud. Unless you just want to wait till like this time this year when like all the top cars don't go with nothing because Madden is pretty much over. But with Draft Champions, it's like, all right, you get, you go draft this team, you're going to play some games with it, and then you get to do it all over again. That's what I love about it. You get to decide on what team you want to do every time. You're not just stuck with one team. And also some very interesting thing I saw about it. It looks like the last, the last round, you get to choose a legend. So... In the video I saw, I saw somebody choose between Joe Horn, Ty Lawson, and Terrell Davis. So it looks like you're going to at least get one legend. It also looks like that there's going to be only... So if you think of mutt terms, only going to be gold and red cards. So like gold and elite cards. So you're going to be playing with good players. And that's why I feel like that this mode may have a little bit of an issue. So if you give everybody like 80, high 80s, low 90s, it's like technically depending on how they pick their players and how you know how 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 the player ratings are going to be um everybody's going to have sort of super teams not super super teams but like kind of like borderline great super teams which i don't mind because uh, the one thing that i like about this mode the most i feel like it's going to take more skill to play this mode than just in mud and just have 99s everywhere. Now, what I hope they don't do, I hope they don't put something in it where you can pay real money to increase your chances of getting better cards or being able to buy cards and stuff like that. There's still some information that I haven't seen yet or haven't read about about how all that's gonna go. 
But pretty much you draft your team and then you go into like a little menu mode like a mutt. You can play solos against the computer or you can play online. I believe it's like four games online, then you win the championship and then you do it all over again. So this is a great addition to the mode for me. I'm very, very looking forward to playing this. I will be doing some videos on this on both the channels. So look out for, look out for, look out for, look out for that. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Draft Champion is a very good addition to Madden 16? Do you think it'll just be like Mutt that'll be overrun with super teams and nobody will feel, or the casual player won't feel comfortable playing it? Or do you think it'll be a mode that'll be able to sustain life going into Madden 17, Madden 18? I wanna thank y'all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's your man, Mike Titan. And I'm gonna go eat some ice cream, because that's my addiction. And I'm out this piece. Go.